You can see them on TV, in the checkout lines, reality TV moms everywhere. Honey Boo Boo, Dance Moms, Real Housewives, admit it. Millions of you are addicted to the drama, the lies, the salaciousness. Well, on this show, Raising America, we want to know the reality of being a reality mom. And Sheree Whitfield knows exactly what I'm talking about. This chick has a criminal past, but I'm not afraid. I'm going to keep face. Oh, yeah. Sheree was one of the real housewives of Atlanta, <laughs> and she's still, still shaking mad. her head. Still shaking her head. Now, are you shaking your head because you're thinking, oh, my Lord, I brought all my drama to TV? Or are you thinking, oh, I just still want to... <clears throat> No, I'm past that. Um, <laughs> you know, the show, it brings a lot, it was a lot of drama, but it was a lot of good things that came out of it mm -hmm. as well. Talk to me about that from the family perspective, because you're raising three kids. We've got a 16-year-old, a 13-year-old. And a 20-something. And a 20-something-year-old. Because <laughs> you look so beautiful. Yes, we won't tell you. you, you you've never aged, I promise. Um, how do you raise normal kids in all that mess? And it's all on TV, and everybody's watching it, and it's highly rated. Yeah, I think... Uh, first off, you have to start with a strong foundation. As a single mom, I try to instill, you know, first of all, you have to know your kids. You have to take time to get to know your kids and understand your kids. My kids weren't really uh, shot a lot on the show, and I wanted to make sure they had a sense of normalcy. Mm -hmm. So that was okay with me. And, you know, we all know that well-balanced, well good kids don't really make great TV. In, in the reality right, world. Right. So for me, it was really important to make sure I kept that balance with my kids, you know, as far as school, family, friends, and their activities, and then the show. Yeah. How did it, and you know, and Dr. Tiff, maybe you can yeah. weigh in. I mean, you were, I mean, everybody knew about this horrible custody battle you were yeah. going through. Yeah. I mean, he didn't want to pay. And I'm just curious what what kids or, or other kids parents were saying to your kids yeah. at school on the streets at functions I mean they had to deal with that Sheree how, mm -hmm. how did you counsel them how did you help them keep perspective around all that it was hard it was hard because at the end of the day even if they did not see it in my house because I didn't talk about you know what their father was or was not doing um, they did get it at school mm -hmm. because their friends are, you know, watching these shows and, yeah. or, and you know, thing. on the blogs. It's very tough. It's tough because kids can be really, really cruel and very mm -hmm. harmful. And adults, we understand. We understand yeah. that divorce is not an easy thing. Not. And going to court for child support, not an easy thing. And kids have no concept of that. And they will say and do and dig and all of that. And I think you did a really good job of keeping your kids off of TV because they didn't sign up for the show. You did. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. But then when you see it on TV, right, then you yeah. got your courtroom drama going on right yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine how much that affected your ability to try to get a divorce, ability to try to get that situation working for you. Well, on top of that, you had bloggers going onto your property trying to get scoop. Mm -hmm. You had to put <laughs> restraining orders against them. Yes. Okay, there's a whole nother dynamic. Mm -hmm. You start thinking about your, your safety for, for your family. Um, how did you talk to your kids about that? How did you, you know, how'd they wrap their hands around that? Again, that's very tough as well because, again, they didn't sign up for that. I signed mm -hmm. up for that. But what I did not sign up for is for people coming onto my property. Right. Sometimes the bloggers and, you know, some of the press, they, overstep. bloggers are not press, they overstep their boundaries. So what'd you tell your kids? You know, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. You always have to constantly watch your back. And, um, you know, I can do all I can when they're in my presence to protect them, but they have to learn how to. Was there ever an upside from doing this? And upside, as far as the kids? Yeah. I think the kids, I think that, you know, my son, he's always been very quiet. I think it actually made him a little more mm -hmm. social. Hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. It's a tease. It's a tease. We're coming back with more.